Hey guys, I will be changing out this little one. Oh, I can't wait. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Weeby Brunch Cradle. I have my newest little one, Julius Bennett. He is a Noah Sculpt by River Schick. And as much as I love him, he is a little bit too light for me. And I thought, you know, I love... I remember I have a lot of dolls on this old-fashioned body and he's actually stuffed really well for being in this old-fashioned body but because I also have a stash of cloth bodies I would while I'm reweighting him I might as well put him onto an updated body that has like a, a chest and a tush so I'll go over my supplies. Um, I will also link and show you my hauls of these cloth bodies. This is just one of them. and they, was, they always come to me like this. Yeah, a little tiny. This is from McPherson's. And they come with these, sorry, this tripods. <laughs> they come with these really small, like, Twist table ties, and I was gonna say twist ties, but I know they're not twist ties. But I also got a bag like this, and it was rolled up, not labeled, and inside, which I don't feel like rolling back up again, was this. And it already came with like bigger ties, like fatter of these. I was gonna cut them. And, but I'll just leave them. But I, I forgot. I don't know what size this is. I mean, I can tell it's a three-quarter arm and they're full legs, non-jointed. But I wasn't sure the length. And when I go like this, it doesn't quite match. But it kind of does because this is sewn up as a chest. And this in the back has a tush so I checked out my order my McPherson's order and it's confirmed this is a 20 inch and so is this so that's my plan now I'll go over my supplies and sorry if I feel out of breath I just got off the phone with my son <laughs> Jeremy oh I can't wait Oh, I can't wait to update you on news about him. But anyway, so I'll go over my uh, supplies. I want his legs heavier. I want his arms heavier. I want his head heavier. I don't even think he has a pacifier for his mouth, but that's okay. Um, he might even take a modified pacifier. Um, but yeah, I would love to update this body. So before I do that, I'll just move Julius. So I'll keep I'll keep this cable ties, even though they're huge, like ends to them. Let's see, these are the real doll ones. So I'm not sure why maybe they're out of stock, and she just sent me something that was in her stock. I don't know. See how much. This one's a lot smaller. Now, I'll show you what I have and where I buy them from. So, here's one of my bins. And these are the twist oh, twist ties and the cable ties that I buy. Now, I'm from Canada. And specifically, I'm in Manitoba. I've also shopped in Saskatchewan because I'm very close to the Saskatchewan border. Now let's see. These are let's see if you can see that. 
almost the same size, but slightly, slightly, slightly. Mine are even smaller than these, slightly. So maybe I will take these out. I don't even know where they come from. But these, mine, are from the dollar store because, you know what? It's a dollar for this whole package. Now, I've shown this before. I will also link videos to my reweighting, but I buy this from the Dollar Tree. They are 11 inches long, and but they don't see what size they are. 30 pieces, 11 inches. But that brand is from the Dollar Tree and a dollar. So when I go to the city, which is only once a year, but I've never been to the city in over a year because of COVID, but every time I go, I will buy like a whole, like 10 of these. <laughs> and I do, I do share them too. With, I send them off in my friend's happy mail sometimes. But yeah, I have lots, I have lots of these. I have lots, enough. Any extra polyfill I get from reweighting, or I think this is from an Ashton Drake doll of mine. I do have other extra, like real doll things. I also buy these nylon stockings. I took them out. But these are from... Dollar Tree as well. They're only a dollar. And I bought the knee-high ones. And here's just some extra that I've made. These that I used to just keep all my clean ones, like the brand new ones. I take them out of here and put them in here at first. Because too much of the real packaging is bulk. So I want to avoid like filling up my bin here but if i can't find like knee highs oh this is a knee high these are knee highs yeah i like the knee highs but if i really can't find the knee highs i will buy like the pantyhose kind and they're just you just have to cut them more this is a knee high i like buying this color the most the light beige but if they only have this kind of beige then that's what I buy because there is no dollar store where I live yeah, I'm seeing what else is oh this is um this is what Ash and Drake uses now they use this oh wait no. No. Sorry. <laughs> this is not Ashen Drake. This is real McPherson's kind of glass beads. I can tell because they're super fine but not extremely super fine. And, or maybe it is from Ashen Drake. I don't know. Let's, let's dig around some more. I'll show you for sure. Once I see it, I'll know it. Okay. I'll just clean up this. This is, I keep the bags. Okay, that well, I'll just keep out. Oh, and I always keep nail clippers. These come the closest to clipping, like, the cable ties. Cable ties, is that right? <laughs> and I have my scissors, too. But I bought a few dolls from people, and... They, you can tell that they just cut it because there's this little sharp, sharp piece. And it's like, oh, that hurt. So I got cut a few times. So these will just totally, like, get right close. So there's that bin. Now, I did also buy Baby Fat from McPherson's. And I keep it in this tub. Now, this is Pantyo's. Because this set, because 
like I said, if I can't buy knee highs, I buy the pantyhose. And I thought, I'm not, I don't like the pantyhose, so I'll just store this baby fat in here. So I did. So here's the baby fat. I've used the baby fat in their tushes, and I really like it. So, so I plan on doing for this one. Now, the next issue I'm going to talk about are the glass beads. There, okay, this is heavy. Now, this is where controversy comes into the picture. I promise these are glass beads. I'll show you the bag. But these glass beads that I buy from Princess Auto is so fine, so fine, it looks like salt. And it's so, and it's so soft. Like, it feels like sand. Even softer than sand. It, sound, it feels like powdery sand. But I promise they are glass beads. These ones are recycled glass beads from the same place, Princess Auto. And these are a little more expensive or cheaper. I don't know. This bag is a lot smaller. I'll show you this kind of bag in a second. But these are recycled glass beads. And you can tell there's like looking green, yellow, gold, gold flecks in there. But they are perfectly clean glass beads. This is from Ash and Drake for sure. Oh yeah, their so-called glass beads are huge. Okay. So that bag that I showed you before was definitely how McPherson's has their glass beads. Which I used to buy, but they're expensive. This is way cheaper. I do keep their packet in here. Keep it fresh. This is my pouring thing. I have a funnel in here. I have a random... Oh, there's a knot in here already. Okay. I'll show you the glass beads bag. Wait, this is heavy. And this bag is heavy. This is the one from Princess Auto in Canada. And it is uh, 25 kilograms. I'm not sure how many pounds of glass beads. It comes in this really thick, thick. Like almost like a potato sack, and then one of these plastic, and then yes, it's like sugar in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just some white stuff that I showed you. Prove it. So I don't know why this causes controversy, but it does. See? Well, it's just a clump. Of the glass beads. Like I said, it's just like sugar. Now, the thing with these glass beads, I love them. They weigh nice, but I'll only use them in the limbs. Only. I'll never use this stuff in their bodies because they're just too fine and they'll eventually leak out of their pantyhose and get all over the place. So, I'll only use them in their limbs. The other stuff, the recycled stuff, I'll use in their bodies. And I'll use baby fat. Belly fat. <sighs> I feel like I'm out of breath. Not why. I kind of know why. It's just heavy. Okay. So, should I keep in these ties? Or should I get the smaller ones? I don't know. This looks like the ties from Dollarama. The ones from Dollar Tree are the ones that are even smaller. So, let's get to dismantling this guy. Oh, <sighs> 
<laughs> that was tough. Oh my goodness. It was on like so tight. I washed my hands because I started sweating and I don't like touching the doll's vinyl with sweaty hands or dirty hands because my oils will get all over and yeah, I don't want that. So, oh, that was tough. Oh my goodness. So let's see. Oh, right away I see this is, I also buy this stuff. This is um like the stuff you buy from McPherson's. The body fluff. I like is because it's clumped like that. It's different. I like this stuff. So I'll probably use it. Let's see what they had for a Wait. I should have cut that. The necktie. I should have cut these cables. Yeah, this is all the way to had. This looks like the super fine beads from Princess Otto as well so fun but who knows I can't really see it it's double wrapped I don't know I kind of like this I might use it in their tush and then use a belly fat yeah I, I like I like the inside of this but yeah that's all that he had now I like him a tiny bit heavier now I'm starting to sweat. It's hot in here, summer, <sighs> and all that work, it was just made me sweat. So, I think what I'll do is I'll keep this. So I really like that. And that you know what? Maybe I will just keep their limbs the way they are because I'm sweating, guys, and I just want him done. But I will make an extra pouch of baby fat for his belly. And I'll keep this for his tush. I just need to make sure that this thing will be on the middle. Because look at this tush, guys. It's going to be like that. <laughs> so, you always make a nest. Now... This is just me filling in what I like. I know people have reweighted their babies how they wish, but I like to make a nest with polyfill. Now this stuff is that special polyfill. You can tell it's like really clumpy. Let's see if I have the normal polyfill. Oh, I bought a polyfill from Walmart. I don't have I have that McPherson's polyfill. I don't want to, I mean, not McPherson's. Ash and Drake polyfill I don't want to use. I'll just reuse this. But I want that tush. So I'll put this big knot. Oh, how much you see, put this knot and kind of hide it. Put it kind of near the top. So let's see how this works. See that? <laughs> this won't be a tush, all right. But I want to continue that nest in the front, too. And the bottom. Look at that uneven butt. Oh my goodness. That would not be a good plastic surgeon. 
maybe with practice. Okay, so I am just that's a one big tush. Oh my goodness. Get some more because I can feel I don't want to feel the nylon. I want to feel the polyfill. So I still want this nest type thing. Down more. Ooh, look at that big belly. It's got a big belly going on. Smooth this out. Oh, I'm starting to sweat again. My fan is on, by the way. Now, I do want a little pouch of belly fat, just for a tube of it. So, I have his tush going on in the back. And then, right about from here, I want a tube of, in the middle of this stuff. Now, probably have to cut me some, maybe I'll just use this stuff. Give me a hole, do a knot, I mean. Don't want any excess. Now the trick for this belly fat is to add, sprinkle some baby powder in it. And it kind of loosens it, plus it gives a baby smell. So what I did is I made the knot and cut it, and I'm going to go like this so that there's no big ugly knot now to fill this without worrying I have one of these this is a um, milk frother for an espresso machine that I have that I've never used in my years I'll just go like that. Find some baby fat. Ooh, looks like ice. Ah, what a mess. Should I be doing it like this? <laughs> oh, I'm starting to fall. It's because I used the wide part. If I would have used the knee part, it'd be hanging on to this a lot nicer. Um, some more. I know I'm making some of a mess, but that's okay. Now these are silicone um, baby fat. And they say, like, don't mix vinyl with silicone. That's true. But that's why there's a barrier of polyfill and, and this nylon. Now, can you see that? I'll be back. And the secret ingredients. Baby powder. This is old fashioned. I'm not even sure how many years I've had this. Mmm, it smells so good. Just mix it. And you'll loosen up all those pellets. Oops. One fell out. So they're not slimy anymore. They're not um, sticky anymore. And to me, if baby powder comes out like this, big deal. It smells beautiful. I love this scent. So squish it around until it's no more sticky, sticky. And look at all this baby powder, beautiful baby powder that's being wasted. It's getting, it smells nice. So, do another knot. Not too, oh my goodness. What does this look like? <laughs> I 
do a knot but not a tight one so I'm going to try and lift it well, that was kind of too loose oh well that's okay but I don't want all this excess Make a tube, probably twist it, make it a little tight, taut, whatever you want to say. It's okay if I lay this straight down. When I was in the beginning of the hobby, I used to sprinkle like baby powder directly on the cloth. So <laughs> before scented wafers were a thing. So put this down. Ooh, it seems like a lot, but ooh, I like his weight now. I like how he feels. So, before I put a whole bunch of things on, close that. I do want to, like, also nest up all of this. Actually, the baby powder keeps my sweating down too so the sun is starting to shine again oh, so much. we've been having heat warnings like all week ooh that's too much not too stuffed up let's see I don't want them too too like you know Stiff. He's still my baby. But yet, I want him heavy too. Oh, I like that. So, just want to make sure that I think this looks good. Okay, now for the sides here, I'm just going to take this stuff and my forehead is starting to sweat this would be better if I just cut open this thing I'm not sure if I'll ever reuse this cloth body I don't know maybe who knows there is easier to get at. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep. Somewhat the same. Amount. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This from this side. And this is up for that little piece. This from this side. Okay, make sure that these are on the proper side. Now these are already with their straps. Um, if normally they do not come with straps already on them. I want them pretty tight too. Oh, he feels good already. So I'll cut like about this far and then I'll take my nail clippers and go right up there so it's not sharp. See how sharp it could be if you don't clip them and then the clip just totally takes off a clean cut. Scissors never cut straight no matter how hard you try. 
Okay, as I was saying, say if you didn't have a zip tie already. Okay, wait, let's get this on. Oh, might have to if I, I have to redo this one. Okay, I'll just redo this one. And I can show you exactly. Okay. So, where's one of mine? I'm starting to sweat so much. That one's not open. This one's open. Okay. You want this bump on the outside like when you're when you're putting this in the cloth body you want this on the outside not on the inside so it's not going to go on the inside it has to be on the outside so you always feel for it and thread it through and you might have to fight through the seams actually most of the time you have to fight through the seams the second seam it's still stuck. but promise me there is a hole through that seam <laughs> It's just, sometimes it doesn't seem like it. I'm sweating like crazy. Okay, I got it through. So it's through, and to double check again, this is on the outside. Okay, let's try that arm again. Oops, why am I doing this? That looks so hot. Yep. I'm going to do mine tight too like it was on originally. Take your scissors, cut about right there, and take your, clip them. Okay, now for the legs. Oops, that's for the head. Let's try and move all this. Make sure you've got the right side. Make sure. It's like up like that. Okay. Make sure you don't touch the paint too much. The sharp. Ooh, that one went flying. Sorry. Make sure there's no fluff sticking out. The new one tight too, like the other one. Get my scissors cut, but closer with the Nail clippers, nice and smooth. Now for the head. Now you know, um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to cover up that. Um, I've we waited one particular doll like three times before in the past. It's all trial and error. So I've done this many times it's the first thing I've learned thanks to my friend Wendy shout out to Wendy Weeby Dolls oh, she is the one that taught me there was there was her, myself Jen from Super Lily Sweet and Miranda now I'm not sure if Miranda still has her channel oh Seem sharp. How come it seems sharp? I see it. There. There. 
That's better. Oh my, oh goodness. my goodness, look at Julius on this new body. I love this shape. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh my goodness, he is. I'm going to have to do this for a little bit. Oh my goodness, he's happy. That's just the way I like it. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at this dish. Oh my goodness. I love him. Look at him. Oh my goodness. I just love him. Oh, I should have done it before and after. Side by side. Oh, I'm so happy. And I need to like totally get the sweat off all my face. I'm dripping. I am dripping. But I love him. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I will answer you. Um, I like teaching. That's what I am. I'm a teacher. <laughs> so, I mean, everyone learns in this hobby. Um, oh, I love Julius. He is... Oh, my goodness. I love it. Okay. I have to go, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I have to go, guys. My truck is at the repair shop. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. <gasps> I love him. Okay, I have to go. Oh, can you see that? You see him? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no, that's that. I need to clean up around here. Oh, I love him. Until next time, guys. Ah, uh, the phone is ringing. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye for now. Love you. Thank you for being here.